How you doing? My name is Thunder, welcoming you to part 6 of Auto Modelista! Where in this part, we're going to be using this bad boy that I unlocked earlier, the uh, Shelby Cobra. Uh, bef and before I end up getting into uh, the next bit here, um, before I end up starting the next set of races, I had forgotten to me uh, realize that there, you, there are still more secret cars to unlock, even on the races you've already done before. Like, ones that give you parts, If when you beat the ones with the parts, then you're given a secret car to get for those ones. So, I didn't actually know that at first, but I'll just go through the cars that you do unlock if you redo them again. I'm not going to do them on screen again, because there's no point. You've already seen the, the race, but... Uh, for the Rocco Hill on level 1, you get the Fair Lady 240ZG here. You may remember I got the uh, this Z432R before, but this is pretty much the more of the uh, American market 240Z, the 240ZG. And then for Toyota, when you do it again for Osaka Highway, once I can find it, you get the Toyota 2000 GT, which is a beautiful machine. It's a beautiful, beautiful machine. Sorry, but anyways. So that it would be level 1. Now for level 2, you get a, a, yet another Nissan, which is this right here, the Skyline 2000 GTR C10. Another nice, pretty machine from back in the day. And then that's for Akagi Hill. And for West Tokyo, you get this here, the Honda S800, this tiny little thing. Tiny, tiny thing that doesn't have a lot of power. For level 3, there are three additional vehicles you can get, which includes... This here, the Mitsubishi Galant GTO, which is a nice classic of a machine. And that's for Rocco Hill, by the way, like I mentioned. For Akagi Hill, you get the Mazda RX-3, so some old school rotary. And for the and for the fine East Tokyo, you actually get one of the hidden manufacturers. The, for this Dome Zero concept, which has five colors in it, which is pretty cool. Five colors, which you don't really see elsewhere, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, level four, there's only one car to get, and it is this very interesting ver car. It's the Mazda, it's called the Mazda uh, MSIF Cosmo 21. It's like a concept modernized Mazda Cosmo, which is pretty cool. Looks pretty nice, to say the least. And then lastly, for level f 5, I don't, I'm not mentioning uh, what race to do because there's only one as part of the cup. The other vehicle for level 5 is the Hyundai Accent Rally Car, which you saw earlier in uh, other events. But, so yeah, just thought I'd mention those out because I had completely forgotten about that. That's how it works in this game, but there you go, just redo those races. When it, it, and you'll know when to redo them because if it if uh, you go to an event here and it says uh, it doesn't say complete, then you still have something to unlock there. If it's complete, then you got everything there. But let's finally let's with all that out of the way, it's time to move on to level six where we've got the Mountain Championship. It's another just it's just another four race event, and it's going to be taking place on all the uh, hill tracks, including which would pretty much be Rocco Hill, Downhill, and Uphill, or Hill Climb, as well as Akagi Hill, Downhill, and Up, uh, Mount, uh, Hill Climb. Why am I struggling to say that so much? I have no idea. Let's not worry about that right now, because it's time to get it on and win. Okay. So we actually, so this is pretty interesting, we've got another Cobra in here. Now, I could have actually lowered the speed if I wanted to on this, because the stock uh, transmission... Well, no, I don't say, I say stock transmission. What I was noticing before, this thing only tops at around just over 130. And I was using this in, for uh, getting the off-screen secret, other secret cars to um, unlock me the... Uh, what is it? The uh, other... And, uh, you know, I'm on the higher speed tracks, like Osaka Highway, so this thing still has a 219 mile an hour setup on it, so I may lower it down for the hill climb and the downhills events, although I am in the lead, so maybe I don't have to. But, you know, you definitely want acceleration for a place like this, because there's not really anywhere where you're going to really 
uh, get off onto high speed. There's just nowhere, no, there's nowhere really to do that. Of all the, you know, the tight corners and all that stuff. And then another positive news, I guess. Well, I say other positive news. Positive news for my end. My baseball team, the Toronto Blue Jays, finally won an AL East Division title for the first time in 22 years. In fact, they haven't been in the playoffs for 22 years either. And I'm only 20 years old, so I've never been alive to see my team in the playoffs. And this is the year they're finally going to be in the playoffs. And they're considered one of the big favorites, actually, for the World Series because they had uh, quite the turnaround. They were... After Around the All-Star break, they were like 50 and 51, so they were like one game under 500. They are now sitting at 92 and 66. So in that span of time, they've gone 42 and like 42 and 15, which is mentally good. That's like holy my god, that is quite the turnaround. If I ever knew one, like it's just wow. It's definitely something you you just don't see. But it was pretty c cool to say the least. So yeah, it's gonna be all the buzz around here in Canada is just huge for them right now because it's been such a long time coming and we finally did it. But hopefully, well, they'll uh, keep the momentum up going into the playoffs. So knowing them, they probably will because they have one of the best at-home records out of any team so far. They're, they they've won most of their home games. So so let's uh. I'm gonna bring this down just because I don't really need it that high for these tracks. And once this goes, let's uh let's do the uphill. I still don't know why I'm struggling so much with saying hill climb. It just uphill just appears in my head first, and that's what I say. Don't really understand why, but that's just the case. Yeah. Also notice this this is the first time I've actually got a car that uh, has uh, stickers on it. I decided to just put some stickers on it, and you know, just nothing real. I never really cared to put them on it, but you know, they, you do. I just wanted to show that you can do it. It's not just them. Um, not just them. Um, it's because if it was only them, what was what would have been the point of getting the sticker samples? Well, as unlockables, it just yeah, just wouldn't make any sense. Okay, come on, we can just uh, keep this thing together. The Cobra's not a bad handling car, it's just, it's just, it, but of course, it is a, a rear wheel drive like Behemoth. You can get this thing to like over 730 horsepower in this car, and you know, and it weighs, pr it's pretty lightweight too, so it's a very, it's, it's a really good choice for if you're looking for a fast car. And I hit that again, damn it. Ooh. That was close. But it's okay, we're just. They're actually keeping. They're actually uh, giving me more of a fight this time around. I'm noticing than last time. Maybe it's just, I'm just not as good as the uh, hill climb than I thought I was. Oh well, no big deal. As long as I win the race, that's like the thing that matters. And I think I'm now starting to pull away a bit, so that's the important bit. Oh. Okay. Oh man, that's a little too much slide there, and it looks like. The other Cobra did the exact same thing, though, so nothing, real, no, no major harm. And bam, got the win. <laughs> We're still undefeated in this game. Haven't I have yet to lose a single race or even need to retry a race? So can't really, and I can't really retry it. Retry races in a championship, you got to run with it. It doesn't give you the option to retry. Anyways. Now it's time to move over to Akagi Hill, and I think I'm going to continue lowering the transmission. I'm going to—I want to put this car on a focus for um, acceleration because it—it's really going to matter here. I'm just move—I'm going to move it over to the average, just because I don't—I—I I just want to see what it'll be at average. But yeah, with the with these kind of places, you just really—it's like the uh, the. The, co the acceleration matters the most. Anyways, on to Akagi Hill. Alright, Akagi Hill. My my favorite of the two hills, because just like the uh, autumn style and the... Uh, oh wow, there we go, look at that. It's only doing 133 miles an hour on average. But it's got the acceleration though, so it's not, not going to affect me too badly, hopefully. As long as it can just 
get itself out in a, in a hurry, then we should be set even with this car only doing 133. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, when I was doing this off-screen on Osaka Highway, this thing was topping at 219. So you could really... That's how you could really adjust the transmission this game. I, I wish it would just give a better viewing on it than what it does give you, but hey, it's, it still does its job, so can't really complain. Yeah, I'm really noticing a difference. I'm just pulling away from them easily this time around. Even with the fact that this car is only doing 133, 132. So that you just constantly hear that going off all the time. I really wish they didn't add that stupid beeping thing for the red line. It's in, it's really annoying to listen to. I can be... I mean, I don't mind having, like, a, a prompt to tell you to shift, but they could have at least come up with something better. Oh, boy. Okay. Nope. We're all right. Yeah, they're almost 10 seconds back now. And that's probably the Cobra, too. That's the one in front of the rest of them. So it's... But of course, it's my Cobra here is just way in front. Okay. And there we go. There's that time split. I was also watching some Automobilista videos on uh, on YouTube because Automobilista, uh, the one that I have here, this is uh, the this was known as the US Tune one because it included like, extra tracks and extra cars, particularly actual cars not from Japan. And um, I noticed, like, uh, uh, aside from a few graphical changes, not not uh, the way the game looks, rather just uh, menus and all that stuff, but um. I noticed that um, if when you go into a sector, if you weren't leading, he, the announcer would be like, "What?" or "You got to be kidding me!" And I never heard it in this version of the game. I guess they just thought it was too insulting or too mean-hearted or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's not worry about that. Anyways, on to the just one more to go. The hill, Klemakagi Hill. Okay. And now I just got this one to do. So here we go. Okay, last one to go for this one, and that'll be the part. Okay. Just gotta get the, I'm in front of these people. The Skyline and the Lancer is no big problem. The Cobra's definitely got the, a bit of the boost advantage. Because again, they just... Later, oh, later on when you do these, they just take away like nothing, and it's really annoying. But, yeah. Anyways. Oh, and there we go. Got past him. Good. And now they're just mostly... Uh, oh, no. That was too much spin. That's okay. We're moving back up again. That could have been bad if I had completely spun out, but nope. Not. It wasn't all the way. Although that almost was. Jesus. I'm definitely not. I guess I'm definitely not as good when it comes to the uphills. Uh, the hill climb. Sorry, the hill climb sections. Why do I keep saying uphill? I think it's because I look at the, the little icon that they give for hill climb. The hill climb ones, and it has the U, so it's like uphill. I'm used to always calling them hill climbs because that's usually what Toge events have always called them is hill climb events, rather than going down, which they still just call downhill events. Unless some like to call it hill descent or something, but I think it's hill climb. I'm hill. hill I mean downhill. Ugh, man, I'm screwing up everything. Huzzah! That's my let's plays in a nutshell, everybody. And around there, around the bends. Okay, not too much more to go. I did not need to shift up there, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, no! Damn it. Well, at least I got a sizable lead, so it does, didn't really affect me too bad. So I, I hate doing that, it's just really annoying. And here we come to the finish line. Just like that, we win. Still undefeated. This has just been. Except for the little hiccups I have during the races, it's. When it comes to the actual finish, it's still per a perfect let's play when it comes to that, which is awesome. 
Anyways, there's a big trophy, and we get the Orochi, which I will actually show off real quick. Also, I saw that I got a gorgeous trophy. Uh, so, yep, I'm going to have to come back to this off screen because there is another car to get there. And then, of course, we got the final race, which is going to be a seven race championship series. So that'll be pretty exciting. But, but in the meantime, I'm like I said, I'm going to show off the Orochi. Which, let me just, uh, I'm just going to make sure I part already put this in here. Yep, okay, I did. So, so, nope, don't need to park in the score storage because I already have. So there we go, that's the last hidden dealership we had to get. And it's this just really weird, ugly looking thing. <laughs> It's not a very good looking car to say the least, in my opinion. It's also the concept version, so it's making around like 400 horsepower. The real life car, which they did actually sell, I don't think ever made that much. Oh well. Anyways though, let's uh, let's, I'll just leave this on here so you can just uh, bathe in its ugliness. But regardless of that though, that has been Part 6, and then you stay tuned for Part 7, we're going to be taking on the last event, because yeah, this is a short game, to, sp to say the least. Pretty short, but there will be a little bit more after the 7th part, so keep your eye out for that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and as always, take care.